get drunk, 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 drunk. I wanna get drunk, 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 I'm so drunk. Yeah. It's gonna go down in the bedroom tonight. And I can't think. Yeah. I just know I wanna be all of you tonight. Yeah. Yeah. I wanna get drunk, 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 Turn you from nasty to class. I wanna get drunk, 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 Turn you nasty from class. You gon' get drunk, you gon' get drunk Let me put in your trunk, you know what's up Baby girl, you know what's up Get that drink in my cup I wanna rock, and you wanna roll I wanna jock, and you let it show Hey, yo, what's up, what's up? This should have been the podcast, episode 11 With your host, Shin Diesel Necessary Kinga Yeah, yeah Man, this was crazy so we we successfully had our first kickback. It was amazing. Shout out to everybody that came. Shout out to everybody that bought a shirt. Shout out to everybody that wore their shirt. Did you bring the list? <laughs> See, we were supposed to shout out everybody who came. My bad. Because <laughs> we got a list of everybody who came. We're going to shout you all out one by one. Tell your birthday, your social security number, all that shit. The last person you had sex with. All three of them. Even if it was me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. Uh, uh, like, hit the like button. Don't act like the the like button that did something to you. The like button ain't said nothing about your mama. So don't don't trip on the like button. Hit the like button. Speaking of mama. Subscribe. Speaking of mamas. Mama. Shout out, shout out to Mama Vicky. And shout out to Mama Kathy. Mamas. What's up, Mama? I love you. My mama be showing mass support. My mama be most, on my- <laughs> most supportive mother I've seen. Listen. I guess you got to catch up for all them years of nothing. Uh, oh, my God. I, I have, had to. Don't have Captain Mac pulling up on the show. <laughs> mama, mama, listen. Me and you here with it. You know for a fact that's real. But but being that you can redeem yourself, and she does that. Like, fucking what would we do? Right. She'd she, she pull up down. Listen, bro, I just want to tell you, I, I nigga look good now. He don't look good at you. <laughs> you came out. My, no, I'm saying, but y'all look good. Y'all look good out there. Your hair look good. And, and, don't, and don't entertain these motherfuckers that don't like y'all. Yeah. For sure, mama. Uh, it's people that don't like us? No. Oh, uh, yeah, especially y'all. Oh, this is a beautiful segue. Watch this. A lot of people that know me, you know if you didn't pull up, I'm going to call you. I'm not going to say your name. I'm going to call you. Y'all, you. You guys throw parties. Y'all have y'all little events, and y'all invite me. And it's amazing. But I actually be too busy to come. Uh. Like, I, I literally don't be in the city. <laughs> I'd be like a million miles away. And if I was here, I would attend those things. But I give people their props. A lot of people I fuck with, <clears throat> you can't act like you don't see us. You can't act like this ain't happening. <clears throat> and this is just the beginning. <laughs> you know what's next, nigga? The kickback two. Kickback two on the kickback boy. Two. And um more, you know, more, more of the more of the same. Some more of it. Some more of it. Look, take that shirt out. Oh yeah, the merch is crazy. Show them this lead. This is a um this is a, a very Surprise gift it was a gift at the kickback. It was gifted to me. I pre- I don't get a lot of surprises and a lot of gifts, so when I get them, I appreciate it. So appreciate it. Shani designed it. He kept me in mind. You know what I'm saying? The, the color is my color. You know what I'm saying? The, really earth tone. Yeah, yeah. So you can get you some more of it. We're gonna put the uh, the link for the uh, the store, the merch store. And in the description. That shirt is going to be on the store. When, when this episode airs, that shirt will be on the store with different this, variants. This, this particular shirt that I'm wearing right now, my cologne in it, everything. Chest hair and shit. Everything. <laughs> Nasty just ass like chest it. hair. We're going to package it up, leave a little piece of hair just <laughs> on, on the little part of where it sticks just so you know it's authentic. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, we did pass out refurbished condoms at the kickback, but nobody, no, we had like a bucket in the front. And so nobody took Refurbished them. condoms. Nobody took them. I put 47 condoms in that bucket myself. All used at one time. <laughs> <laughs> we just joking. But, I, you know, people say thank you the wrong way. So this is how you say thank you. Everybody that comes to the kickback next time, the next kickback, kickback too, and we will announce the dates, 
to them all out. You will get a formal invitation. You will get a card. And I will personally shake your fucking hand. Yeah, that's a hearty ass hand. And, and he got sweaty palms. Too, so. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy it. Episode eleven, though, man. It's, I mean, it's really like episode fifty-seven, but no, for the sake of, uh, I mean, I'm talking about the previous episodes that never made it to YouTube for, for, for the sake of designation, N- naming. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, this is episode eleven, and this is gonna be dope. So we're gonna we're gonna change it up a little bit. It might not be as funny as your auntie falling down the steps. You know, that's far. I'm going to let that go. See, I, <laughs> I don't know. Was she old? Or was no, no, no. We can do this. This is a young auntie. We can do this. I have a friend who asked me to come help him move a couch just recently. Uh-huh. I, had some, I had pre-engagement. So I was like, you know what? I stopped by there. I stopped by there. They're all arguing. Bro, you told me. Put it on the podcast. Was popping, nigga. His auntie. Oh, shit. That was nasty. Good Lord. It came out of me. What the fuck? You want to know what went in? <laughs> nah. So his auntie, his auntie is um, trying to help us with the couch. Mm-hmm. So she says some shit like, y'all look young niggas don't know shit. I've been doing it. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit. She was just telling me, how, how much, she was just telling us how much the fuck ups we are. You know, I didn't laugh until I got in the car. Right. And, and I asked him, I was like, bro, is she all right? He's like, yeah, she good. She should have shut the fuck up. This bitch was so drunk, bro. She fell out, and she went to, she went to sleep on the spot. <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck?" And <clears throat> he's like, "Hey, that should have been a podcast. Film my ass." I like, "I ain't gonna film her. That's far. Film her. You gonna talk about it though? Your auntie, <laughs> listen, bro, listen. My young auntie tried to fuck me a long time. Whoa, bro, I couldn't do it. I'm, I'm too real to him. The same one, same auntie, same auntie. What the fuck is that noise? It's Barney. <laughs> the aliens arrived. <laughs> Playing that weak ass bell shit. But let's talk about going into um, fully understanding who you are as a person. And that's something I want to do. Know thyself. That's something I want to establish with a lot of people that fuck with us. Knowing who you are is not necessarily knowing who you're going to be, but it's the path on the way to that. All right. I've learned a lot by entertaining more than one type of ideology. Trying to look at myself through other people's eyes, I started to see this person like develop versus the person I think I am. Some people think I'm fucked up. They may be right. Some people think I'm an angel. I am. <laughs> and some people think I'm selfish. And I think you about As you should be. You have to be some form of selfish to go far. Right. Because if you give everybody a piece of you, then how could you ever be whole enough to go where you need to be? Better example, analogy, metaphor, here we go. You got a, a, a bottle of water, right? And, and you need this bottle of water to survive. This bottle of water is your energy. Right. So you put one in Tamika. You put one, that's probably the oldest name in the world. Um, Tamika's an old ass name. But I'm now stay, it is. I'm going to stay on subject because of one person in particular. I'm going to make sure I, I any, any idea we're going to carry all the way out in episode 11. You just <laughs> drop some shit. But, but um, he said, fuck it. My mother bought you that. <laughs> no. Unfuck it. <laughs> what the fuck? So uh, you, you take this water, this water bottle. Is that noise? You know what? Anyway, um, you take the water bottle and you fill up the cup for your fans. You fill up the cup for your family. You fill up the big cup for your job. You fill up the big cup for That's um, real. Parents. The job shit. You fill, up the, you fill up this cup. You fill up these... The sequence of cups that you fill up every day. And then by the end of the day, can you be the person you want to be to the people you need to be that person to? You give them time. To you mean you ain't got that much left? You ain't got that, so what do you do? Now you got to recharge. Now you got to go to sleep. You got to wake up and go deliver. You got to wake up and go sell your time, your life right. to this organization, your job, so you can entertain a life that you want. Maybe you grew up fucked up. Maybe you had a good life. Maybe you just want to have money. What is that? Who you are. All the guys with money, all the ladies with money, what does that really mean? Se- security. But are you happy, though? Are you happy with <clears throat> your kids being a certain way? You got a great job. Your wife got a great job. But your kids fucked up because they've been sheltered from the world. Right. You did everything in your power to make them better, and it just polluted them. 
at the next stage of my life, I'm not judging. I'm I'm I'm, I'm preserving a personality. That that judgment idea of how to judge people, I'm I'm preserving that for myself. You judge yourself, then you can see the flaws in other people because you see yourself in other people. All right. And that's what I like about being around people because you can see that. So who are you? Who the fuck are you? And who do you want to be? Some people are their, um, what they do, their job. Like, that's who they are. That's, that's how they identify, especially if they make some good money. They're going to always identify through that, that medium because oh. that's what's bringing them that's what's putting forth whatever you're seeing. Success. Right. Livelihood. Right. Keeping up with the Joneses and the Johnsons. Johnson? My thing is, I mean, are you accepting what you're accepting just because that, that career that you had, a job that you have, make you the money that, you know, sustains you? Like, is it just because you get paid well or would you rather be doing something else? Of course you would rather be doing something else. That's why people take off. And you know what people say at work the majority of the time in any job? You ready to, I'm ready to go home. Right. You walk past somebody you fuck with, like, I'm ready to go. You ready to go? I'm ready. You just got there ready to go. You know why you ready to go? Because you're not really supposed to be there. Right. And what I'm saying is, no, you are supposed to work hard for what you have, but there's somebody working smart for what they have. And, and sometimes you don't, we don't have the luxury to be smart because our parents are downfall. Who, what they couldn't be. Right. So what I can't be, my sons will be, my daughters will be, because I can see that for them. But then how do you protect them from the other side, whoever you, you know, the, the, the other parent? How do you protect them from how they see the world? What if their life was better? Oh, here we go. There's that voice. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, you know, it's like, well, you know, uh, we didn't have those problem. I, I ain't going to, again, you said this, I ain't going to whoop my daughter. Man, that baby didn't pop, didn't pop two or three times. But before you get in them shoes, you can kind of have a better view on how to change it. Right. And then you realize some shit just don't change. Right. Some conversations don't need to be conversations. Hey, hey, sit your ass down. Right. I told you no. She didn't graduate. I'm a wig, ran around the house with it. Fuck these motherfuckers. You got to pop that ass. You know what I'm saying? And, and then sometimes you can course correct with a conversation and a hug. Listen, son, I understand you want to masturbate. Just don't do it in the living room. And make sure the audio is cut off on, on the video because it's playing throughout the house. <laughs> just there's jacking off. Right. <laughs> you know, so that's just where we at with it. Children define who we are through our eyes. But the truth is they're not our definition. You are your definition. They're more of their own design outside of you. Right. <clears throat> what do they want? A lot of parents don't care about what the kid wants. They don't care about how the kid life is affected. Yeah, of course, This my life is better than you, nigga, because you didn't have shit in the 90s. Right. But, nigga, I got a fucking PlayStation 12, Xbox 10, iPhone 50, all the same features. I, f I love you, Apple. We so, cut that check, so, bitch. So, get this. what about the person who's... Um, or, or tell me this. Would you have a, be working at whatever job, let's say you making whatever desirable amount of money you want to make at whatever job you at, right? Right. But you got the opportunity to, to do what you really want to do, but it don't pay that much money. Livelihood versus destiny. I mean, livelihood. Which, which one you, you going to rock with? Me personally? I'm going to find a way to do both. But once you can't do both, you need to do what, what you want to die doing. Like, realistically, do what you want to die doing. I love doing this. I love writing. Right. I'm working on a novel right now. You know that. I just showed you a $60,000 deal. You know that. I'm working on that right now. So there's no way writing can get written out of my life. Mm. A lot of people have the ability to write, but they don't know what to do with it. They have the ability to shoot a basketball or cook, but they don't know what to do with it. Some people don't want to sharpen their sword because it takes them out of their comfort zone. Right. I make chicken, ch chicken strips real good. When well, nigga make a chicken strip company. Man, but I can't make the other stuff they make. Right. Fuck what they make. Right. They you make your chicken strips, nigga. We're going to come pick two of them up. Yeah. Man, what's up with these food, niggas? Send us some fucking food. We've been saying that for, for a few episodes. A couple of people fuck with me, and I be like, hey, man, just just put it on a, like put that on a podcast. Let me, 
man, I ain't really ready for like like to be promoted and shit. I pull up, sell a plate. It's that mentality. I do know, uh, and you, she's she's. Shout I've out. seen her on your post and my post as far as dealing with the podcast. Okay. They got the food company. Um, it's a couple of people. Food company. It's gonna come to me, but it's a female. Um, I don't want to say no names. I'm, you don't want to say names. I'm not saying no names anymore because I want to see you pull up. If you ain't pulling up, like I understand support, but we 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 put a lot of work in this shit for certain people. Pull up, got something for you. Oh, shout out to Nicole, please. Nicole, Nicole, please. You should have been here. I had you a whole midget ready to dance on you. <laughs> Missed that. Yeah, his you name. Was, his name was Albert. He, he's still over here tied up. <laughs> Albert, you ready? <laughs> Nicole will be here. But now, um, what's up? Who is this person, the food truck, the, the female, the food? You want to know her name? Yeah, I don't I don't remember. Let's go to the Facebook world. We got pretzels that were specially designed for the event. We had little meat things. I call them meat things. A miracle. Tell me about it. I, ain't, I haven't tasted her food, so... Has she has she has she fucked with the podcast? She, yeah, she wanna she says she wanna pull up. Well that's what's up. Miracle, let's do this. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this. And uh, you get off for support. The the thing about supporting a black owned company, black people don't know how to do business. So sometimes we have to teach people by doing good business. All black people? Black people that want what we have, that want something more, kind of push themselves, but yes. Most little over half. What about the white people don't know how to do business? It don't look like it. The black people don't do business good and it look like it. Hey, right, you hey, right, can, can I get some can I get a uh 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 shit? Let me get a uh nigga go and get it out. Damn, shit. You can tell this bitch mad. Like I just I really don't know what I want. I'm gonna pull up here and say uh 20 times. Mm-hmm. Hold on, let me see. <laughs> mm. All right, look. So let me get a number two. You pro- but you probably don't even frequent a uh, equally matched white owned mm-hmm. restaurant. When you go to a white restaurant, that op- you know what it's get like. that opportunity. I've been in bad white restaurants and they just don't feel bad. <laughs> sure. Um, How it don't feel bad is bad. Could it's you, a bad. Could you, could you please hurry up? Owned by order. somebody white. I, I, could you please hurry up and order your food, nigga? No. But no, I don't. I don't feel that. I've and you know, I'm, it may seem like I'm being prejudiced. I'm just judging because I feel like we have a better service. And and not better in the sense of because of training, but better because we need to have a better service. Right. If somebody do business with me, I have an assistant. Hey, if my assistant call you and there's no communication between you and my assistant, I have to direct I have to directly contact you, then something's broken in your system. Then I realistically can't go forward with certain things I have envisioned for us. A couple of people. I'll be like, hit these people up and see what's up. But once I realize there's no feedback in the way they probably should feel. I realize that they're not as serious as I am about doing business with them. Right. One phone call missed, understood. When that phone call's not returned, and you, I've been busy. Me, me, me too. They don't give a fuck. And, and they do give a fuck when it benefits them on a level where they can feel it. Right. But when it benefits them on a seed level where they have to grow into something and understand where, they, where okay, this started here. You got to gotta be with it from the root to the fruit. You got to be with it from the root to the tutor. Was that right? No. From the root to the, the fruit. The black and the berry. What goes around comes around. Just a bunch of random shit. Stoic view. You just got to be there from the inception to the conception. Man, shout out to the fucking vampire. Bro. Shout out to Dre. Shout out to Dorian, bro. <laughs> Dorian what up, Lord? Lord. What up, Lord? He, he, was, he was here chilling. He gave me Lord, some love. Lord, And he, this is the thing. That was West Side, by the way. Watch this. Watch this. This, this is dope. With Dorian pulling up, it made me feel like certain other people should have pulled up who I have different connections right, with. Right, right. But by those people not pulling up, and they can't hear my voice, they're watching this, you will get a phone call. I don't give a fuck if you want. <laughs> listen, listen. Some people, I know niggas that's like, hey, I'm out of town, bro. One of my homies got stuck you at the airport. You check in with the big homie. It's not even check in. Just show the respect that you want. But but this turns up. Don't don't come kick back five. It's a kick back six talking about you should have watched it. Fuck with in us. In all fairness, have you pulled up to them? Nope. What's the difference? Being professional. If you got an event, I can probably get shot and murdered at. Why would I come? I know my attitude and personality. I'm gonna choke one of your. Uh, you got, uh, you got uh, a built-in a, a built-in reasoning code. I want to do this special announcement. A lot of y'all niggas don't like. 
you can have whatever trinkets of mine. To there are them, there are niggers out there that don't like you. They don't. A lot of niggas don't like me. But the good thing about it is, niggas, I don't give a fuck. Stop not liking Chin, okay? Yeah, it doesn't make like, him feel good. You guys like me. It, 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 what it does is, I can I can discern between friend, friend and foe a lot better. You put a target on yourself, and it's unnecessary. They put a target on me because they want something they can't achieve. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking to them. Oh, okay. okay. And, and being arrogant, it's not that. Being ego, it's not that. You know, I talk to people that that do inflate my imagination without my ego. You can't inflate something that I am. I if, am if, that I am. If somebody start blowing I up I am you, that I am. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty cool saying. I'm never going to say that saying. You shouldn't. But I am is powerful. But it's you are. Shit. Let me get this out. A lot of people, and I love saying it. We're going to make a show on a lot of people. Because <laughs> he's saying a I lot. I say it a lot. Because a lot of people, a nigga. Lot of a lot of fucking, a lot of you motherfuckers. So a lot of people don't want you to be better than them. And this is for everybody, a lot of people. I was born better than you, niggas. And that's the difference between me and you. I was born the same. I just want to be different. I don't want to be that brick in the building. I don't want to be that that fixture. You look, you look up and every, it's just everything is the same. Right. And I and I don't want to be too different when I'm weird. D, oh my God. One of your niggas just survived the fucking see how to joke about this guy. Because watch this. Fuck it. I'm going balls to the wall. There's this position that we hold and we think we have something. And we won't shed light on certain things because we think we're above it. I shed light on anybody. Shout out to the life coach. Life code. Certain people can act like they don't see this. This is a tsunami. This is an earthquake. This is a storm brewing, and you can enjoy your little fake hors d'oeuvres with your fake chains and your, your fake gloves and your fake life. You can enjoy your fake instrument and your fake reality because the truth is, 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 is so fucking vivid, vividly coming, that there's nothing you can do. What am I saying? That's what I'm saying. Everybody got this awakening they have from there. A lot of people are going to wake up and be like, this person ain't good for me. That person ain't good for me. There's no reason to go any farther, but we try based off the loyalty we have to these people. I've tried to be loyal to the I've tried to be loyal to people who just don't pull up for me. But there's a billion people that do. And I'm, and I'm trying to split the love between the billion people that do and the nine niggas that don't. The four bitches that's really to give up at the drop of a hat. Leave. B- bitch, don't give up too quick. Leave. B- bitch, do give up. <laughs> he wants you out of there. Because if, if you go and show me. He don't want you to get some more. If you show me how real I am by giving up on whatever I am, then I can find whatever I need. I give a fuck. Like I said, it ain't about the jokes. Some, some shit I don't even try to joke about. I want to clothesline this one guy. I'm never going to. That's not funny. He's in a wheelchair. I'm close line, I got in a wheelchair. I got a, I got a, you know, stooping, you gotta, stooping you gotta, low. You got to dip pretty low to do that. Nigga rolling up on me. What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> the position that you have to get in to even do that is gonna, <laughs> it's gonna, it might be a little painful for you. If you are the type of person that can't take dark humor, we ain't the right people to be around. <laughs> Not at all. Please, I be having it, fucked it's up. It's gonna enough. get weird, man. You talking about a dick? They try to explain. People try to explain to me. They talking about a sword came out his dick. I do believe in God. I just don't believe in certain systems. You can't judge me. I want to follow y'all, but it's like you hate God. What the <laughs> fuck? Well, don't follow me. <laughs> yeah, well, fuck about you are. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Somebody said. Your mama. It seems like we hate God. It seems like, uh, she said, this is an older woman. She probably want to suck God's dick. But um, you know what? The dick of God. Would you? You know, I'm stopping. That's why they said we hate God. That's why she said <laughs> Would that. Would you suck God's dick? <laughs> Would you put the Lord's penis in your mouth? Look, but not the idea. If, if you really think that you can suck God's dick and you think that's blasphemy, then you need to be blasted for me or from me. Think about it. Because they want to take it literal. They try to see it in their head. Listen, they say don't. You're not supposed to picture if, no shit like that. If you're not. <laughs> if, somebody say that, you're supposed to just act like that. they didn't say that. Don't even try to figure it out. It's I, you can, you can pick out what I say and say what I'm saying is wrong. But then you can watch a movie with demons in it. You can watch a movie with husbands and wives cheating. That's demonic. That's earthly. So you mad because I asked you, would you suck God's dick? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> that's on you. 
Listen, just to be gender appropriate, would you eat God's pussy? Because God is a black woman. With a dick. <sighs> too far. I guess it was, that's Baphomet. That's at least two and follows. That's Baphomet. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> you just described Baphomet. The Baphomet. Brought to you by the Catholic Church. Um, dun, dun, dun. Another level of information there. There's no reason to go into. Why? Um, R.I.P. Rich Homie Quan, R.I.P. B. King, R.I.P. Fat Man Scoop, R.I.P. Somebody random granddaddy that I don't know, but he died, so R.I.P. to him too. Shout out to anybody that's, that's representing people that died. That's another thing we did at the kickback. Oh, uh, yeah. We went around the room. Shin invoked the uh, spirits of ancestors, and we had a seance and a ritual, and they were all a part of it and didn't know it. He made y'all a part of a ritual. And then the demons came. Did you see the blood over the door? As his eyes narrowed at the door, the demons appeared. Dorian leading the fray. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dorian. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, nigga. But now, nah, um, but we hit the like button. We went around Subscribe, a room. Subscribe, share, we went around a room and and represented all of our fallen ones. Anybody, anybody you love that that's not here. They could have been your puppy, your dog, your neighbor. Right. You, know you say their name, it, it keeps this it literally the spirit that they left behind, the energy signature that they left behind. It keeps them vibrant. And that's important. And you know, um a lot of people may a lot of people may not want to do that, but that's what we need. If you dead, don't you want your hair? No, that was only one person. Adam. <clears throat> but listen, nothing convinced him. So I love that nigga too. And I think he was standing on what he stand on. I think he was drunk. Adam was he didn't drink, did he? What the fuck? Adam was drinking on the way here. They came two hours away. I to, thought he was saying oh, he They was came from like two hours away to get here. So when he came... Shout out to Drunk Adam. <laughs> Shout out to Black Adam. What's up, bro? I love you so much, nigga. And so we we had the after party. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. See, this would this would they say we do. Start the conversation and jump. We do that alone, but just trying to be better at conveying a message, complete ideas in this entire thing. <clears throat> Adam is drunk as fuck. We're going to get to that next. We're going to get to the kickback and how dope it was. Right. But we're going to discuss the the dead people the people that die, our ancestors. That's a real thing. You need Definitely. You need to be able to, if you have a, a somebody you love, grandparents, the kids need to know about this. The kids need to, you know, it, pay attention to how important what the people came before them offered. <clears throat> Women, this is for you. Black men, this is for you. Start writing down your recipe. Start documenting the moments you have with the people you love because one day that's going to be a, a, a digital moment for kids that never got to meet you. That's going to be something for somebody that, that you've created and you're, that, that you didn't never know you'll meet through your children. That's important. Man, uh, they're going to be looking through them Facebook posts they, and the you, social media posts and you're going to look like a fucking idiot. For real. Because you was posting all the dumb shit that was on your mind that, that really should have been filtered out somewhere else but you just let it go on facebook because that's what we do you, when you when you are part of the times that's the thing right but the kids need to see you in your natural light your great grandkids some people don't care about that right and that's the reason the world has moved in the direction it's went in a lot of people like you know i just i had a conversation the other day i'm not going to be here when that happens i'm not going to be here when champion kid kid half kids champions right. my son right. i'm not going to be here when Raya, kids, 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 have kids. She won't even be here. So with that being said, I have to leave something like this that can last the time, the, the, the course of time that, you know, that can feed them things I want them to know. Right. Know that I love you. Aww. Even though you're my son's dick, you're my son's son, son's ball sack. Right now. Right now. Right now, my great, great grandkids are swimming around in a, in a bat of like with liquid baby batter. And he wants you to know. I want you to know that I love their liquid juice. Right. And I wouldn't suck Jesus' dick. But but again, looking at it from the perspective that you need to look at these things from, look, look at these things from, it's loaded because you're supposed to be loaded. And it's religion is hard to talk about because some people have belief and they're afraid to go to hell. Yeah. I'm not afraid to ask the questions that was getting the priest that you read about in trouble. The, the world, that, the way, if you see and believe what your great-grandfathers told you, that something's wrong. This is why this is important. 
you have to learn to evolve. And as black people, we don't evolve. We evolve in sports. We evolve somewhere, somewhat academically. We evolve financially. We evolve um, a, in a bunch of small ways, but we don't evolve spiritually. Spiritually. And then you ask yourself why. Well, if you shed light on a subject and you can see the rest, the rest of the world is playing by one set of rules and you come from a place <clears throat> that you don't know, so you start to play by these rules, you have to unlearn those rules. If somebody can say you, your ancestors don't exist, but then they pick one ancestor out of the rest of them, what the fuck? Do you understand some of these colonizers, black colonizers were the first colonizers. We went around the world first. That's not important. You know why? Because Lil Wayne got an album coming out. Next. <laughs> Chris Brown and Usher got to fight on stage. Uh, um, Kevin Hart choked Dave Chappelle. That's more important. Did you did you did you see what 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 De- or, uh, what Beyonce daughter award the movie awards now that uh, she's here? Fuck what's going on. Fuck there's a missile hit this building and killed thirty people and forty of those people was babies. That don't even them happen to be math, but it makes sense. <laughs> so about the school shooter, I wanted to get on that. Th- this is a good segue again. You see this I was lining it up. The school shooting situation is another situation where the father played a bigger role. He's got arrested too. Like two counts of murder, four counts, right. eight counts of child endangerment. He gave his son a fucking AK-47. Oh, well, a, an assault rifle, allegedly. But no, fuck that nigga on the jail. Uh, he, he gave that motherfucker the gun. Right. And he, he, he pre- look at him. Look at, look at, if you look at what they're showing you, pause, and then go look at, you can go look at his page. They have their own page. Look at his beliefs. He believed Trump was ripped off. He believed that, you know, black people got it perfect. What's the, what's the, and he hate us. What's he hate the, everybody. He's teaching son that shit. What you think about the timing of it? It's always going to happen around election time. This, if you don't understand, this is some, this is some kid with a fucked up father, but it's also a system that's teaching him and, and pushing him. I totally believe there's, there's somewhere somebody else got a kid brainwashed and they on some shit like this. It's got to be you to change the world. If you do this, more often than not, it changes everything. You think that's a group of black people? No. You think it's a group of gay people? No. No. It's only one group of people that have statistically ruined everything around them. And you can say what you want to say. We had, one of my homies came to the event. Everybody was happy. And he was moving a certain way that made a lot of people uncomfortable because he don't I, know how to move. I, I didn't see that. I, I heard no. I heard you talking about it, but I wanted to ask like, what when you when you in a when you what amongst, was it? Is is he he grew up differently from us? He grew up almost in a cult, and so to be around a bunch of black people, you kind of feel like, damn, I need to serve everybody. We fucked y'all up a long time ago. Let me kind of be overly nice. Um, Let me be overly conversational, bro. People are here to relax and chill. Get your smart ass. Go sit down. Right. Okay. Quit thinking so much. Just okay. just sit back and chill. Quit talking about your life. Nobody gives a fuck. We all got lives. We're here not to think about that. Right, okay. So it's just a it's a tad bit of awkwardness that comes with that misunderstanding of we fucked y'all up a long time ago. And it's not even the case. You shouldn't look at it like that. <clears throat> Moving on to a better subject. The school should the, the school shooting situation is fucked up, but I don't wanna I don't wanna be one of those people that, that look at this like that's just an entry level. What about everything that lined up to that? It ain't no gun laws that can protect us from that. Well, the gun law, this is to take the guns. Things like this. That never works. If you take the guns, we just use them. No, no. I'm talking about the conversation. It never works. Like every time I say, they just want to take the guns. Why? Why? So, so another How thing, many shootings got to happen before they take the guns? Why do you want to even... They a, take the, the guns. That a, don't even sound, it sound exact and correct. It sounds like a level of control that I don't want. You can't. You're not supposed to have a gun in New York. Does that stop people from getting shot in New York? No, because nobody gives a fuck about those rules. This guy has. We need a doctor. That's what we need. I have a doctor. We need a fucking Um, doctor. But but no, um, just being honest, we need to talk about this. What? Mental health for our children and how do we deal with this? Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, you know better than I do. But once you create a child and you're not with the child's mother, at some point, maybe not for everybody, but at some point you have to realize you created a dynamic that's 
not the best for the child. Based off of the opposite part of the equation. Right, because you're not, once you're not in the same household, it. What they say in their house go, and what you say in your house go. Right. Now this child has a whirlwind of shit going on. Right. Well, who to believe, what to believe. So, mental health, dealing with children, is so critical. And then we were those children at one point, right? Right. We were able to get whooped and understood. Right. But now these kids are a little different. If you look at them the wrong way, they make a phone call. Now you now you got to rearrange certain things and try to prove certain things that's not true. Or they may be true. A lot of these kids are fucked up. Like, cutting is a thing. Cutting your fucking self is a thing. That's been a thing. It's, but no, 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 no. No. That's been a thing amongst people that's mentally somewhere else. I don't even want to scrape. If you walk by something to scrape yourself, oh, shit, what the? Right. These motherfuckers are back so. When, back when we was growing up, I used to hear about that with white people, not black people. But, but again, so somewhere along the lines of being catered to without struggling creates the cutter. It creates the kid that want to self-harm. Because a lot of kids that are getting fucked up don't want to be fucked up. They don't want to fuck themselves up. Right. Son, come here. Cowboys lost tonight. Oh, shit. He ain't finna go in the room and cut himself. Right. Daddy just punched him in the fucking chest. He's gonna go shoot up the school. <laughs> <'Cause> if... <laughs> <laughs> that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna shoot his fucking dad. Uh, and that's the reality. We, you shouldn't fear your kids, but you can create the dynamic where you have to. Right. You know if you did enough. Some people can look, some people look at the kid, I, I love you, John. You didn't love me enough. When you were asleep, Jason came in my room and he fucked me. <laughs> that's reality. Yeah. Or he just turns gay. And, he, and you know what happened. Right. So you just try to cover it up. We cover it up. White people cover it up. We cover it up these we cover it up we cover up the abuse. We cover up the 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 habits and the, the fucked up shit. We cover that shit up because it makes your family look good. White people are perfectly guilty of that. Husband drunk as fuck. He didn't fuck his daughter two or three times. But his wife Tomaso. Awesome. You know, he's he just has a problem. We're gonna get right. we're gonna get over this. Right. The president of the United States getting his dick sucked by his, what you fuck you mean? This happens. Every president been fucking. These athletes be fucking. People be fucking. People are not who you think they are. <clears throat> are you shocked? Because you're not who you think you are. When you look in the mirror and you force yourself to go to work, and you force yourself to be somebody that you don't want to be, that's the same thing the president doing to get his dick sucked. He want to represent us, but his dick getting sucked is more important. Right. He, he, he loves fellatio. What happens when they find out Kamala and they get their pussy at? Some big buff white dude. Jason Momoa in there. I'm sorry, Jason Momoa. Look at my hair. I'm each bus president. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> eat it, eat it. They're, they're in the Oval Office. She has to whisper. Oval Office in her ovaries. <laughs> Punish, punishing her ovaries. Imagine that bar joke. <laughs> hey, listen, man. I was just Oval Office. A vice president, a random guy, and a chicken walk in a bar. And Trump walk out. No, I'm joking. You know, mm, listen. This thing been happening. Like, I, I got people that I deal with that went to a certain school that we all kind of connect to. So a certain figure made some bad choices. So I have this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we, we, hey, we here. We here. We here. We here. No names. No names. So certain people made bad choices. A couple of people made bad choices. What Pac said? Say? say his name. Nigga, you, say his name. You, you, you people that made bad choices. So I put myself in a situation to not try to be Try to point fingers for a joke. <laughs> but you you turned yourself into a joke, bro. Like, right. regardless of how good you are at certain things, regardless of your weak ass son, D stop. Listen, the point the point is, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna if I'm gonna if I'm gonna cut the crown off, I might as well kill the princess. Kill the prince. Burn burn the fields. Everything. But I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna say this. Once you start to destroy, you must destroy completely. Exactly. If you have made choices to put yourself outside of community. And somebody crack a joke on it. You know, let's say, for instance, I I kick the baby. If I go kick a baby and I get, like, a, a kid charge for kicking babies and shit, I mean, I can be considered. You fair game, nigga. If somebody do a kid kicking joke, then. We on your <laughs> ass about kicking babies. I'm on that. So if you fuck a kid, it is what it is. I be trying to, like, sit back, but I'm like, I'm thinking, like, wait a minute. On some level, you're fodder. On some level, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna. I should feed you to the wolves. You know why? You, you need a little girl pussy, dog. 
We're going to stump your ears together digitally. So, again, again, just being able to say, this is my reality. You should be able to talk about things that's riveting. You should be able to talk about things you experience. And imagine looking up to somebody musically, and, and you find out they're not who you think they are. So now you're forced to, like... Who do you think they are, though? The, a lot of you jokes. You they're the person in the music. No. Because you know the person outside of the kid touching. This is serious. This, I just said we sweep shit under the rug. I'm sweeping this nigga whole life under the rug. Nigga, fuck that nigga. Like, I'm trying you to... You touch a kid, this is the song. You got to wear that jacket you, forever. Listen, this listen. is it. You, you can wait, wear that jacket. You can wait till this bitch turn 18 and get that pussy. That's if you that fucked up. If you over the age of 30. Now, some some states, 16 is, is, the, is the consent. 17 in New York, Texas, it's 17. That's if you can be found on the register, you fair game. Pull up. Oh, yeah. If, if you, you found on the register. If you had to register, but, but... What if it's your partner? Fuck that nigga. Listen, I got a fucking cousin in St. Louis that did some fuck shit. Don't nobody fuck with this nigga. I had to take nigga off my page, nah, nigga. I'm fuck talking, that nigga. I'm talking about, I'm, if, if you I'm did talking some... About, if, I'm talking about the guy who didn't know how old she was. I don't fuck with that. It don't matter. Don't matter. Get out of there. You got differences. If you... Y'all in the same school. You 17. She's 14. You know that's fucked up, but that's almost the same thing. If you, and I, I'm not sure about that, I don't really care. But if you're an adult with a driver license, like if you. Nah, if you, nah but what nah. I'm speaking of, it ain't, it's like that, that, that age where the young guy is getting older and probably was just negligent on. That's different from being a grown man. Finding out that this girl was, you know. 15, 16 years old, and he's 20. I'm not sending my kids 21. He's grown. He's an adult man, but he's not like, you know what I'm saying? He's still hanging on to that, and he ain't even, he ain't trying to figure. He could have he found out in our life how old this person was, but oh, she looked old enough, so he just went ahead and went for it. In our lifetime. the hard way that he got to register now. In our lifetime. How many substitute Volume teachers? Two. I'm, how many substitute teachers have you fucked? Uh, substitute teachers you start off at 21, right? Right. The oldest kid at school is 18. That's nothing wrong. I can see that. That's that's nothing wrong. But if you fucking a grown ass man, like, are you serious? I'm not sending my school to I'm not sending my kid to school to get fucked by a teacher. Right. Not at all. I'm not doing that. So when I say we sweep shit under the rug, boy I, or girl, I got these jokes burning in me. That I'm, I'm that like like if niggas don't pull up, they, he's burning. You finna be you finna on the inside. Up, you finna be a, you finna be cooked. And 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 I it's like why would you bring light to that? Because I want to bring light to my niggas that shoot, like niggas in the hood doing dumb shit. I don't fuck with them. These YouTube streets need a body. And that nigga going to be the first one. Why, 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 not kill some, some, why not kill somebody so high up that's so low down? And what I'm saying is, just jokes. Like, what I'm saying, like, we, we, I crack a joke on mystical raping ass. Right. Mystical, mystical is one of my great, favorite. Great, we got to say great. We can't say... He he was one of the greatest. It was it was really good. No, grape. We can't say just flat out. Oh, right. Grape because of the fucking algorithm. Right, right. Mystical was graping women. <laughs> yeah, he was graping them. A lot of grape, and that's why he's in jail for bringing grapes to him. But you know, again, sweeping shit under the rug. Even YouTube. Why would you want to censor that type of those words when those words hurt people? That somebody reliving that. You trying to like Because we're sitting up having a uh you know, an adult conversation as professional as we can doing what the fuck we want to do. Correct. Because we're still gonna use profanity and all of that. But what about the troll person who's just gonna sit up there okay. and go gotcha. grape, 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 grape. I grape your grandmama, I grape your everybody, so I grape myself. It's, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's, a, it's that. A censorship shut up for immaturity. Right. Okay, cool. Stupidity. Dumb shit, and and that's what set up. That's why that's why I think we're a great podcast, personally, because it's we're a show. We should have been a podcast. You get the point. We got a pod. Okay, once you turn this into just audio and put it in somebody's ears, podcast. Baby. Right now we're YouTubers. We have a YouTube show that should have been a podcast, but saying it's a podcast just, it's just it easy. don't feel right to you. No, because I know it, I, it's a I, show I, called should have been a podcast. Right, this is what it is. But it's so easy to call it a podcast because. That's what you hear more than like you don't hear a YouTube show or show, you don't really hear that. So it's Do you, real easy to just say podcast because it's 
for the person to understand what it, you might say YouTube show and a person don't know what the fuck you even mean by that. A YouTube show. Just yeah. Like, must be one of them YouTube yeah. shows. Right. You, you get Look a at voice. autograph. So if it's like I got a podcast, oh, then it's automatically they kind of understand what right. it is. So I get it. But it's actually not. It should should have been a podcast. But, but, but for episode 11, let's turn up a little bit. So I like sex. You like sex. That's clear. I go too far sometimes. When I, mean, I sit back and watch episodes or, or chill with people, they watch the episode. Man, you be shitting on marriage. And people are like, why he be so mad about marriage? So I have a, I found a way, guys, to get him to talk about it. A beautiful wife. Mr. Kinga. I have a beautiful question for you that I think um, suits your caliber of man. Shoot. Do you ever in your life, the future you, want to be, want to come home to a comfortable life with a woman there? One woman there, future you, regardless of the situation, watch how I get them react. Do you want to come home to one woman? The future in me says no. Oh, shit. Oh, that didn't work. The truth is, you get to a stage where companionships, where companionship is important, and you want to find yourself inside of somebody, somebody else. No, ain't nothing wrong with none of that. And I don't, it's not that I don't, I know I don't think about what you just said. No, I don't. But what I do think about is what you just said. So. <laughs> That's my thing. <laughs> Hey, you, I put a shit on the You join the shindy. <laughs> it doesn't matter, but it does. But continue, continue. But I don't, I don't harp so much on a, this one person forever. I don't think about it like that. Because I know everything got an expiration date. Even us. Right. Like, a nigga gonna die one day. Right. I mean, just from that inevitable, ex- that clear reality, but everything in between has an expiration date. So I don't think about it like, yeah, I want this one woman forever. I've never thought about it like that. Have, okay, so do I have that? Do I understand what that is? You do. Yes, you I do, understand, but, but have, don't have I thought desire. about just, just one person forever? Like that's not the the that's, end all to be all for me. Like just one. just one so person. The, the, the next do I think is, about two, three? No, I don't even think about it in that context. So, so pretty much you did like old guy that lives like in the, the cool house of the street with a cool car and you, with a dog and you by yourself. No. What the fuck do you see? You don't see her at the house? Where are you, Kevin? <laughs> King, are you coming? No, I see life? her however long they last. Damn. You didn't been through some shit, dog. Yeah, I ain't been through it, man. You ain't, you ain't ate enough pussy? I, ain't been, I haven't. I, I don't plan on. The, the more pussy you eat, the more, the more your feminine you kicking in. That's why a lot of these bitches are hard. They take this but shit it, to but the But at the same time, if. Fuck her brain. <laughs> I understand this too. If that's what's in my cards, it's going to happen. I don't give a fuck what I sit up here and say. I can sit up here and, and kick shit all day. And, but what's actually going to happen I play out, play is out. going to happen. Right. So. So destiny. You going to yeah. let destiny play out. Yeah. I'm not. I'm going to fight destiny. That's it? No. I'm going to run the other way. Shit, nigga. I'm fighting destiny like a motherfucker. I'm fighting destiny. Bring it. Like, even when I got into a relationship, you know, I didn't plan on doing that. It happened the way it needed to happen. I was like, oh, that's how it happens. It was dope. It was great. It wasn't the right timing. How many females tried to spin the block on you? <laughs> like, recently. Man, re- my, my, uh, <laughs> it's cold. I'm, you been dodging bitches? I'm cold with it. So I don't know. They might have tried to dip back, and I'm just like, it don't even get, to, I didn't even reach the doorstep. The funny thing about this is, I've been getting a lot of spin. But sometimes, I'm going to do it. I mean, I'm making spin back like a motherfucker. But again, my I pull a matrix on one bit. Dodge her. But think, the think, thing, think about it like this though. This this is how the spin backs work with me. Cause it could be some person that we never went anywhere. Right. Or we went the furthest. It, it, anything in between. They hear me on the radio. Brrr. Out of the blue. I heard you. So that's a spin back. Technically, that's a spin back, but it's like. Your dick is calling me. <laughs> I'm calling you. That's a spin back, but I don't really count that because it's just like they're only doing that because they. what that, That's what made, made them think of me. It could have been anything. They could have been. They, they don't want to fuck a king. They want to fuck Kinga. Well, it, I ain't talking about that part. I'm just saying, like, anything can make somebody think of you and then want to hit you up. So since we've been doing I'm a just saying that that part of it. But since the happens po- more often than not. Since the podcast, how many people try to fuck you? You mean because of the podcast? Yeah. 
I don't know. You can't like this ain't like what's the difference between Power Nine Two and then what's podcast fuckery and random Walgreens. Walgreen. Right, right. Like, well, I, I can. I don't know. I can because I don't do I don't do public stuff. This is my first time being public outside of what we did with Beat Avengers, but that wasn't even public like that. It was just you know music guys putting on music. Right. You niggas can see me now. So basically, you've been getting some some love like a motherfucker. Some females be like, you know, I really want to get to know you. And I, I, I explain to them, like, my life is crazy. <laughs> you do not want to get to know me. He said it. The I way he said it. <laughs> <laughs> because I know it's real. N- nobody cares if I don't reach deadline. Nobody cares if I can't think. Nobody give a fuck. As long as they get their little piece of me, they happy. <clears throat> and then you meet people to understand. And then you have people in your life that already... They're like, look, look, I've been here. Mm-hmm. We'll tag it. But I, 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 I've been here. What are we doing? But then they lose their own form of interest because you are growing into something. That they, they knew you can do it, <clears throat> but it's hard for them to fathom that it took separating yourself from them momentarily to do that. All right. when, I, when I'm in an airport by myself looking, looking at shit, looking to go to these places, do these things, I'm like, I wish I had somebody here with me that I could bounce these ideas off of. Like, a, a, a companion. A companion, a king. A wife. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> but I tried, though. But I wish I had... See? Ain't just me. No, it's me, too. He's a fucking scumbag, too. Scumbag is a big word. <laughs> That's a very big word. I'm just like, a bag. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the scum part. I'm a juice bag. <laughs> but, uh, I, I, don't, I don't want to have the misunderstanding that I don't want marriage. I do. I do want a real deal relationship. I want to be intrigued by you. I've been intrigued recently. I want. I want to make a business decision like that too one day. That it is a business decision. Choosing a woman. Okay, I'm about to say that just recently. If I literally get married, as in how we get, it's going to be a business. It, it, everything is a business. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to say this. Just recently, I was able to be, be intrigued for this beautiful moment, and I don't want the moment to last. I don't want the moment to end. But how do I? You, you can't make people. Want what you want, even if you be what they need. You just can't. So sometimes you got to enjoy shit while it's happening, kind of like you just said. Moments. And, and, you know, life is made of moments. I didn't burp so many times on this episode. I did everything but shit on myself. <laughs> Basically, he's disgusting. Oh, wait, guy. He's a disgusting character. I'll be right back. In the bathroom with shit. A, with, a, with a fucking backpack. No, nah, this this bullet, I, this is that bulletproof vest shit. This is my um, this is technically what. You know what? I like it. I actually been trying to figure out a a way to, for me to carry something that doesn't look too sexual or too um fucking New York hip hop. Fuck, fuck man, fuck. <clears throat> fuck <laughs> hold on, hold on. I don't like New York hip hop. I'm just, I'm just saying I don't want to be New York hip hop and I don't want to be Metro, but I do. Backpacker. Wanna, yeah. But I do want a, a, a tote, tote. There's a 45 caliber pistol in this backpack. That's what I do. Well, I, I mean, I'm waiting on somebody coming. It could be a brick of money, two clips, <laughs> a, a certain. <laughs> <laughs> He's shooting a lot of people. When last time you shot the club up? Ooh, when last time you busted Gucci? Like, do you do you do that? Do they you nothing females just like that out of nowhere? They, here they go. Do you nutting bitches? Do you nut, do you nutting women? Let's see how many different ways he can say it. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> okay, okay. Do you put the cream in the taco? <laughs> do you put mayo on their burger? You know what I'm do you put the sauce in the balls? This, this. Let's start here. Okay, having unprotected sex is dangerous, kids. Yes, it's very dangerous. And having protected sex is dangerous too. Not not only do you risk, you know, spreading, catching a sexual transmit just for the kids no and kids. adults. This is for our future kids. <laughs> this is for y'all. y'all know this. It's very Hopefully you guys made it here safe. That when you have unprotected sex, you, you, you know, you're really, really risking that part of it and uh, procreating, having a child that... That's you, the beautiful part of you, it. You didn't plan on having. The beautiful part so, of it. So, you know... But if you want to live reckless sometimes, as we do, yeah, yeah, I'll shoot the club up. You just admitted that? 
I will. You a bad motherfucker? I'm pulling out spraying everything from the wall. Now the shoes. The type of person the, books you've been reading. Lately. The woman, whoever <sighs> she is. Now that ain't just no any and everybody. So have you ever nutted in nobody? She had to be a somebody. Gotcha. Guys, don't nut in nobody. Yeah. <laughs> Boys, don't give out that good strudel. <laughs> Boys, so, don't do it. But yeah, so but name more your dick. than likely, I don't name your dick. That's a real thing. Huh? Name your dick. Not not you name your dick. Like not now in front of me. But like boys, guys, name your penis. Like get, get creative in the bedroom. Just don't call it dick. Give him a name. Give your dick a name. I, you know, why y'all say him? Females be like, do you do you she misses you? I'm like, ugh. <laughs> don't call it a she. It's like another person. It's clearly it makes you. you feel dirty. <laughs> I don't want her. <laughs> No. Wait, wait. <laughs> Why are you licking it? You know, and I love that. I love that. that um, a lot of females name they cuckoo. They name them. You just called it a cuckoo. A cuckoo. That means crazy. My mama, my mama used to say, uh, sugar bowl. Motherfuckers around here can't motherfucker getting your sister sugar bowl. Whoa, what the fuck is a sugar bowl? Now I'm in school thinking about this. She has a sugar bowl? Then you, you think of a bowl of sugar. I think about that frosted, like that bowl of cereal with the sugar put in it. And then you spoon that shit, and the sugar be on the tip of the spoon. That shit good as fuck. What the fuck is that? That's what the sugar bowl is. That's the sugar bowl. You get the bottom of the pussy. You hit the bottom of the pussy. Ooh, the back of the pussy. That's when that. That's you know it get real. That's when you start feeling shit like different cosmos. No, that's when she start getting different. It's like she got biscuits back there. You gotta just smudge. Nah, that when she don't stop calling. Oh, what the fuck is this? I didn't talk to you. You didn't. You, 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 didn't, you didn't hit the gristle. That's the gristle, ladies. And yeah. yeah, ladies and gentlemen. We have branded it the gristle. The gristle. If you get to that gristle, they let y'all y'all let y'all take gristle. that missile, hit that gristle. Ooh, the missile gristle. Yeah. So that's another thing. That's why dealing with size proportionate, dealing with skinny people versus dealing with thick people versus dealing with fat people is different. And I said fat because that's sexy. You know, I think I like fat girls. I think by I like and large, it be you can. Count I like large them. girls. I like medium girl. Pussies is different though. Even like on a, medium large. a skinny chick, you might think that it's gonna medium be small. this, but it's gonna be that. And with a thick chick, you might think it's gonna be that, but it's really Both. this. Yeah, I, I know. But something. there is a consistency. There's a consistency there. Some skinny chicks, some some skinny chicks got cardboard boxes. Some How's skinny your pussy chick, so big? Some skinny chicks have a portal. How's your pussy so big? Like Jesus Christ. Your pussy's bigger than you. Black Jesus. How is that possible? Black Jesus. So again. You get in and it's, another, and, it's a universe. And you can get a big girl. Ain't nobody been able to do that. That's what right. She like to hear in the back because, you know, there's a lot going on up front. Right. <laughs> but I love that shit. I'm learning to love different body types. Not because I'm fucking everybody, everybody, but the more you appreciate people, you can be like, I appreciate that person for these reasons. You can't lay on a bony chick the same way you lay on a, a thick chick. It's over with. If you're, really, you're trying to get if you're really good at sex, you got a lot of experience. If you're good at sex, I'm not good at sex. If you're really good at it, you got a lot of experience. So I know what you I know what you did last I'm time. I'm not good at sex. Okay. I don't give a fuck if you're good at it or not, bro. Like, you that's know. your life. Who would you like to know, ladies? <laughs> Let me give y'all a sex tale. The, tell the women. She laid down. <laughs> I got on top of her. And she turned me over. <laughs> we both fell asleep because we're getting old. In this she, she turned him over and hit his gooch. Oh. Listen, that was dope. Just to, just to touch on that, the kickback was amazing. Just I can't to wait touch to see on the gooch. I can't wait to see what we got coming next. We, will, I'm not announcing strippers, midget strippers, because bro, yeah, somebody they really he really wanted a, a midget stripper. And I kind of felt bad because we didn't really have them. I was like, I started with you one of my homegirls that's short. I'm like, hey, like, hey, we'll figure it out. We'll hey, figure it out. Come in on your knees. We give you a dress. You look short as fuck with long arms. <laughs> Why she look like a orangutan? <laughs> she come on the luck of it. Nigga happy as fuck. Yes! They always show up. But um, Facebook wild, let's hit them with it. Man, um, I ain't gonna lie. Whoa. I had a complaint. No, nah, that was on mine. Unspoken expectations. A pre a premeditated. Please go to your Facebook wall. That what it is. Your shit. That nigga talking about crusty um pussy juice on fucking, Oh shit. 
Yeah. Read my Facebook post. Read that shit. Hold on. <laughs> Let me yeah. find you. I think I deleted you as a friend. Ain't that a bitch? We're going to make that a thing. Because my post be popping. Read the last fucking Facebook post, and that's, gonna, that's how we're going to end this episode. Why he looking for that? We're not gonna do the dead air thing. So we do have a uh, SBAP store. Make sure you check that out. We do have music reviews coming up. So please, please, please send your music in. Shout out to uh, my nephew. Before. Fuck your music. Damn, not before my nephew. We can't. Hey, hold, on, hold on. Fuck your music. But that's him talking shit. And it, you fucked that whole thing up. Shout out to my nephew who performed. <laughs> did our intro? He, he did his thing, which one of his songs. And um, um, he just he just threw me the fuck up. Honestly. That's my job. To throw me off. All the way. Okay. Facebook wall. You ever had sex and then don't shower for the whole day and then go to scratch your balls and you're greeted with the fresh aroma of French onion marinated pussy juices that have been uh, intertwined with your testicular, testicular musk and you can't help but to raise your finger to your nostrils and inhale deeply. Yes. Yes. So I was in the middle of writing and I thought about this. That, that never happened. I've never had nobody, like, squirt coochie juice on my balls. I went all day and I had to scratch them and smell them. That's never happened? Never. Dirty Denzel. That's happened to me. You smell your finger? Yes. How did, that, how did that work out? Like, did she smell your finger? See, I could crack these jokes and, and kind of play around with that idea. But that's 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 far. You know I said not shower, right? Yeah. Fe- but females act like that's far when they like. When, there's a version of female that like the way nuts smell when they come out of them. They just do. Y'all fucking freaks like us. We I take- had a chick go down and I, I was fresh out the gym, came over. She pulled my britches right on down and went to work. I was like, I ain't even took a. Sh-. So obviously she likes salty balls. Jesus, that's the boy. thing. It, but it is. And some dudes like musty pussy. And I'm just not one of them. I am not one of them guys. I, I don't even like pussy that smell like pee. The fuck were we for? Get a wet wipe. I don't really want to. I don't want it to have a smell. I mean, I understand <laughs> if it do. <laughs> what about your funky balls? No, you're talking about those guys. This guy doesn't have funky balls. I always like saturate my ball in like milk juice, coconut juice. My balls always smell like coconut milk. Ladies, <laughs> get you a guy that balls smell like coconut. Milk. No, you don't. Listen, ladies, mine smell like sandal stone. For the sake of the show. I'm going to announce something that we've never, ever, ever announced ever. New SBAP vibrators. Boys. Oh. Boys. This ain't for you. So if you, if you watch an episode, you turn it off, you probably shouldn't. Because you can use us to please your girl while you're at work. And that's why. Do the video. Video play. <laughs> that's why. This should have been a motherfucking podcast. You got damn right. If you order a shirt and you put your order Small inside the... And you, and you put your order inside of the post, you, you get $5 off your next purchase. So you got to put your picture of your shirt that you order in the uh, comments on the video on YouTube, and we, you'll get $5 off your next purchase. Hold him, hold him to that, because he said a lot of shit, and then... That's not true. And I, then what I say works. To, you won't even remember the bullshit because you didn't <laughs> even try. You got to actually try to... Whatever he say, like, hold him to it. Like, the fact that y'all don't hold him to it allows him to say it, and then, but and it's recorded. It's recorded, so you can just play it back. But if you go through all of that, you deserve whatever the fuck he said he was going to give you. Exactly. Leave comments. Make sure you like. Make sure you like us individually. And you can like us together. That comes with something. Oh, oh, oh. We got pops in the store. We got a, a, a SBAP Shindy pop. We got an SBAP King of Pop. We got a... Um, but, hey, don't, we don't want no cheap people coming to that part of the store. That's what it is. We got something for everything. Everybody, if you want to spend... Four, five dollars, we got there. something for that. Yeah. But if you a big money and you want to spend that hun done, we got something for that too. So have at it. The uh SBAP merch, the store link will be in the uh description of this video. So make sure you go there, click on that, get you some more of it. Y'all be black. <laughs>
She step in her heels, she fine. fine. She step over heels, she mine. She head over heels and nine. Then heard it a million times. Two billion gazillion.